Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jesse and this is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself and today is going to be the return after a very long time, Diablo 2. We're going to be listening to Rogue Encampment followed by Desert. These are requested by Justin and Vaxel. Vaxel was the uh, original requester back in the day. I've only heard Diablo one time ever and that was that one video which was also Diablo 2, Tristram. So I get to hear any other Diablo besides two, but it's been a while. So I don't know what this game is. I just know it's uh, Blizzard, and I'm only I only know that because it says at the bottom of this image it says uh, copyright 2000, 24 years ago, and uh, the composer was told to me, but I already forgot. I'll I'll look it up in a second. Okay, uh, both are from the channel Another Generic. So let's start off with Rogue Encampment from Diablo 2. I kind of forgot what that original one sounded like. It was. It sounded kind of like acoustic guitar-ish. about Diablo that it's like, like very iconic old game on PC just that acoustic Mystifying. Very fantasy. I'm getting like ruins and pillars and stuff in my head. Very ambient, so far. I'm not sure if I've even heard percussion yet in Diablo 2. Mood setter. Maybe it's supposed to sound like hell. Right? Diablo is the first thing I think of when I think of Diablo's hell. I guess there's a big emphasis on like uh, acoustic guitars and droney synths and bass. Everything but drums. Yeah, this to me sounds very like ruins, temples, underground, that kind of thing. Some mystical, not easy to uh, travel land type of thing. Like we shouldn't be here.
London. Yeah. People that have tried to escape. Hmm, interesting. Dungeon. And it's just gonna end right now. Which tells me that, well, who knows? Let me know how that actually ends or if it's just kind of like an infinite loop type of thing. Uh, I'll be honest, it, it definitely reminded me almost the, of the exact same from what I remember from Tristram. I don't know if they're related. I also don't know if these two songs in this video are related either. They're just from the same game. But I haven't heard of Tristram since it happened on the channel. and I But I do remember that it sounded almost identical to this as far as the whole ambiance and whoa, what is this mysterious? It feels like air. It just constantly feels like air circulating around like all the reverb and the which sounds like a breeze just kind of like going through now mind you i'm not kind of, i'm not entirely sure what kind of game diablo is i'm almost positive it's not like any action adventure kind of game i think it's more of like i don't know the genre but i think it's more of a <laughs> the best way i can describe this is is like there's a lot of menus and uh icons and stuff uh, I've heard some say like CRPG and like different stuff. I'm not sure entirely. I just know that it's mainly on PC. I don't even know if it's ever even been on a console. I just, I've always known it as like the PC game, if that makes any sense. But it's like iconic status for people. Like they still play it. Um, I'm not sure how many there are. And for the longest time, I always confused this game with Devil May Cry. Now I know they're completely different, but I don't know, you know, like when you grow up, sometimes you just hear of games um, just by association and Diablo was always one of them. I'm just like, oh, okay. And I'm guessing, seeing as this is Blizzard, this had to have been um, probably the catalyst that was able to like fund future projects, which I'm drawing such a fat blank right now. It's not World of Warcraft, is it? Blizzard World. I always confuse these two games, or is it League? I always confuse those two games. <laughs> yeah, World of Warcraft. Yeah. Who makes League of Legends? Anyways. So maybe there wouldn't be, and this, mind you, I don't know anything about this genre or this community, but I'm just assuming that the success of this game is what kind of like catapulted uh, World of Warcraft, maybe? So it's... It's always been this mysterious game to me. Um, it would be very simple as to me just looking up like the Wikipedia or something, but you know that'd be too convenient. It'd be it's it's more interesting to me to have people relive these memories and come into my comment section and uh, correct me and just be like, no, 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 actually this happened, and because you know I was there when it happened. You know, people with actual like hands-on experience, I'd rather hear from that than you know an article. It's just I don't know, I guess I'm just weird. But um, the only thing I got from this, you know, at first, it, it gave me that, you know, ruin, temple, kind of dilapidated, abandoned type of feel. But then I saw the name again, Rogue Encampment. I'm like, okay, well, that has to be, that sounds very specific. Sounds like there was a, you know, some sort of community and some people said, nah. <laughs> and then... Other people said no nah to them escaping and, you know, kind of like POW type of thing. I don't know. I, I have so many questions regarding Diablo, but I'm just going to leave it up to you guys. But the music, um, honestly, all I got was just more acoustic and more ethereal vibes, just like Tristram. So I don't know if there's much variety. We're about to find out with this next song right now. And um, yeah, I'm very curious if the drums ever make an appearance or vocals or... If it's just all this big, you know, because the reason I ask what kind of genre it is, because maybe music in these games are, you know, I'm, I'm more used to like action type games where you're controlling a character moving around like behind over the shoulder or something like that. So maybe in these types of games, the music is definitely more just to kind of enhance the setting because you're going to be there for a long time, just kind of doing everything. Does that make sense? That's kind of the only thing I get from it. But still cool. Just a lot of questions. That's Rogue Encampment.
And then this one's a little longer. Desert. Oh, by the way, the um, composer. The uh, requester sent Matt Yuleman. I don't know if I've heard of that name before. This one's just called Desert. Now, there is a slight tropes when it comes to desert themes. I'm actually going to make a video on these one day. But um, let's see if it exists here. <laughs> but either way, let's uh, get into some more Diablo 2. All these have crazy amount of views too. So I know it's a big deal. All right, desert. Mm. Speak of the devil. The, the, the Diablo. Speak of the Diablo. Two. Either way, there's already so much reverb and this airiness to this soundtrack. I just envision like walking through like a settlement and people hitting the drums while they're staring at you walking by. Cool though, went from hand percussion to like, there's a snare now, but we're also hearing like sticks. We're hearing a lot of nature type sounds here. Yeah, I'm hearing the, the sticks like hit together. All right, we're getting some energy now. Synths. I like these two songs together in Zim videos. Show the contrast. bunch of like instruments made out of trees and that's like animal hide as the this was like all drums now <laughs> than a desert. Or maybe it's a desert at night. Imagine how creepy that is. Just vastness in darkness. It's 
Some of it sounds like a jump, uh, didgeridoo. But I don't think it is. It's cool though, it's like psychedelic. That's the that's a good one for it. Again, what was sounding like this in 2000, you know what I mean? like structure to it but there's not at the same time. It feels very freeform. A little chaotic. Actually the whole soundtrack so far seems kind of chaotic. timing though I was like where are the drums at where's the percussion at doom 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 for six minutes <laughs> yeah so okay so I'm gonna go out on a limb that most if not all of Diablo's music is definitely focused on the ambience of what's happening and it is not a huge focal point of the game but also obviously cannot be imagined without the music being there it's so integral as part of the experience but as far as like melodies and stuff like that i don't think that's the main focus here at least that's what i'm getting maybe because um i feel like maybe these memories attached to the soundtrack is of just simply at the time of you playing it and like what you were doing at that time as opposed to like for example this song you might remember I'm just trying to like think of pseudo situations here. Like maybe looking back on the song, you're like, oh yeah, it was that one that sounded all tribal drummy, but I don't remember anything else about it. I just remember it had a lot of drums that were cool. That kind of thing. Of course, I'm hearing this into my adulthood. I didn't grow up with it and I'm hearing it from the outside looking in. But maybe it is, you know, has resonated with you. I'm very, that's why I'm really curious and I want to know because for me, it's... Uh, it's just all extremely so ambient in a cool way though you know this is uh i've noticed this challenge very early on <laughs> like within the first like episode of me doing this is that it's always um a gamble whether someone submits something with footage whether i look up images on my own i do everything kind of like as is in the moment type of thing. So if it has it, I'll check it out. If I'm morbidly curious, I'll look into it. With this one, I kind of like being ignorant with it. And I do that a lot, actually. I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> ignorant when it comes to not looking stuff up, not knowing, because again, I like the interactions of firsthand experience. Uh, that's... It's kind of the same reason some people like say you don't know anything about cars you could look it up yourself or you can take it to a mechanic you know that kind of thing it's so easy it's too easy to just pull up this miniature computer in my hands and look up anything i want that's cool yeah but there's nothing else in the world where where it's like a unique experience where i can talk to people that this directly targets you know core memories and then they can tell me 
their experience with it. And even then, some of those will be different amongst each, um, themselves. So it's really fascinating to me. So I hope no one ever thinks of me like, I don't have anything to say or, you know, whatever. It's not really a critique. It's more of a, this is how Jesse is ingesting this because I have an image with text on fire and ambient noises. And all I can do is be as creative as possible. <laughs> you know, not that people complain about that, but you know, every now and then someone would be like, well, of course you need context. Well, yeah. You need context on every single song that comes my way. I have requested for people to hear stuff. Not many, but you know, you know how many times I want to be like, "Oh no, that's not what's happening" or something. So I get it. I've been on. I've been on the other end too. I get it. Um, for example, just like one little example, I, I, there was. Uh, I don't know if he still does it. There was like this YouTuber who was, he was like checking out video game music and then like learning it on guitar right away. I forgot his name, but like I'll put him in the description or something. And I submitted a request for a song, and I, I felt like one of you guys. And they, you know, just just hearing them talk about it, I was like, "Ooh, this is cool!" But they have no idea what the song is about, and that's great. It, for me, I like that. I like that they didn't know anything. Anyways, I'm rambling. Diablo Two is just. Um, I just wanted to give it my 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 best guess because I know it's a big deal, and I know it's a big part of a lot of people's childhood and probably still adulthood. So let me know whatever you want to know about Diablo. I'm probably never gonna play it. So feel free to gush or tell me it's criticisms. Is it a good game? Did it withstand the test of time? All I can do is just listen to it and be confused as hell <laughs> from all the ambience. It sounds great though. Just, I'm guessing it's it's, the music is not a huge focus as much as the gameplay and story, but it's there to serve its setting, I guess. That's all I got. <laughs> so thank you, Justin and Vaxel for that. Um, I still have, a, I don't have that many Diablo requests either. I have like maybe two left or one, one or two left. So whenever that comes, we will, uh, we'll see. All right, so thank you to all my uh, Patreon members. I couldn't be here without them. Thanks to my Platinum members. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the Auditorium. Peace.